YouTube, welcome to Retro Music Review UK, my name is Roger Swift, this is a channel where I take songs from the past, play them on my little stereo system here, and tell you what I think about them while I'm playing them. Earlier this week I had to go and do a photo shoot, I won't go into the reasons why, but don't get the wrong idea, I'm not a model or anything like that, god no, but why I had to go and do a photo shoot for a reason we'll come into at a later date on a future video. But part of that meant was there was a cash converters opposite where I'd have my photo shoot done. Always worth going into a cash converters because for someone like me as a music collector, some branches have it, some don't, but I happened to go in there and have a look and they had a rack of them. And there were four on there, two singles and two albums I was going to buy, 10p each. They were on my list of things I want. Unfortunately, I didn't have any cash on me and I couldn't be asked to go and get a £10 note at the machine and ask for change and I'm not going to use a card to pay for it. Well, they won't let you. They're not going to pay, let you buy something that's 40p with a card. Went back there today for another reason on the Sunday and uh, two of them are gone. The two albums are gone, fortunately, but I managed to pick up two of the singles, which are over here. Uh, I'm not. This is not what the review's about. I'm just doing a little intro bit. I got... Um, this is a song called... Um, well, it's a double A side that I, I owned this back in the day. Um, Someday I'll Find You by Shola Ammer. Remember Shola Ammer? That's, there's a 90s throwback for you. Shola Ammer and Craig Armstrong, Someday I'll Find You. And the Divine Comedies, I've been to a marvellous party. That These are Noel Coward covers. There was an album release, it says this, from the album 20th Century Blues, the songs of Noel Coward. And it's basically, it was contemporary artists of the time doing... Um, cover versions of Noel Coward songs and this was like the two the double A side they brought with it. Musically Shola Rama is not my kind of thing at all, never liked that song. It's this one I like, the um, it, I've Been to a Marvellous Party by the Divine Comedy and I'm showing you that because look at that, 10p from Cash Converters on the side there, smashed a bit Kate with cracks and everything in it but you know I can always replace that. I also picked up this one as well, this was on my list, this is a song called Fix by Blackstreet. Now again this usually wouldn't be my kind of thing musically but this was a weird mashup thing they did with Slash from Guns and Roses on it, where it's got Slash and he's like playing the guitar and it's it's, it's weird sort of R&B rock mashup kind of thing they did. I don't really like it, it's just one of them historical um, 90s retro oddities, that's basically what, what, what I define this one as. So there's two, they were 10p each, if I was after both of these, they would have cost me a damn sight more on eBay, so that's two more ticked off my wish list. I'm not going to review these today, but these are going to be future reviews, I will talk about them in a future video. Today, I'm going to do this one. This is a song from 1996, and it's called, well, it's called Ua Cantona by 1300 Drums, featuring the unjustified agents of MU. Now, a bit of backstory about this one. Uh, my knowledge of sport is very limited. I know virtually nothing about sport, but what I do know is that Eric Cantona was a French football player in the, during the time, and um, I'm sure a sport expert will tell me will, will tell me the story at some point in the comments, much better than I can tell it, but he was a French football player who played for Manchester United. I'm reasonably sure it was Manchester United he played for. Didn't he play for France as well? Again, I'm no expert on it. I, I don't know anything about sport, or virtually nothing about sport. Obviously, why would a man who, who wants to talk about 90s music in, in anal to attentive detail know anything about sport? Uh, I mean, just look at me. But anyway... Point being, Eric Cantona was a, was a football player for Man United. That, I'm sure I've got that part right. And they developed this chant, that the, 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 play, uh, the players, the fans on the terraces used to sing, used to do this chant, they, Ooh, ah, Cantona, I believe. I mean, I'm not an expert on this, and this is kind of what I, I, I know. And what this is, this is a novelty song they brought out, that somebody brought out, that kind of samples the chant into a pop song. There's a conspiracy behind this one. Uh, I'd say the word conspiracy. There was a conspiracy at the time that no one remembers now. Now, there are lots of clues. Now, in the early eight, the late uh, early 90s, there was a band called the KLF, and they uh, were also known as the Unjustified Agents of Moo Moo, and they used to release a lot of songs. They previously really had a number one hit under the name The Time Lords, um, which was a mashup of Gary Glitter's Rock and Roll Part 2 with the Doctor Who theme tune, and that was a number one hit under the name The Time Lords, and they had... Uh, they released a book called The Manual, I believe, which is what you have. It's like it's a guide to how you have a number one hit just by cutting up bits of other songs. And that's a collect. I, ha I haven't got a copy of that. It's one of them things I kind of would like to have. Pop music nostalgia, I would like to own, but I haven't actually got a copy of it. And last time I checked, the copies on eBay go for a stupidly high amounts, so it's not that important to me. But apparently, it's, it's a good read. Apparently, now they went on to become the KLF, the Copyright Liberation Front, and they had uh, several hits, um, which I may talk about in future videos as well. 
Um, but then they disappeared. Then they famously retired. They were quite controversial. They used to have like controversial performances and stuff. You can read up the history of the KLF on Wikipedia, I'm sure. But then they disappeared off the face of the earth. They retired from the music industry and just vanished without a trace. This came a few years later, this one. And there is a conspiracy or theory that, that, that this is them. This was, this was the KLF under an alias. Now, the clues are the unjustified agents of Manu, you know, Amumu, potentially. There's a lot of... It's, it's got a KLF kind of start to it. It's a lot of cut-up samples and it's this sampling of the crowd chant into a song. I mean, no one really knows. It's one of them that there's no been no, no information on this. Um, okay, let's have a look on the inside of the sleeve there, of course, the football and the CD there. Um, looking here, it does not have the Nintendo seal of approval on it, this one. But what it does have is it says... For more information on 1300 drums for each from the Unjustified Ancients of Manu, please write to Moomoo FC. So Unjustified Ancients of Moomoo, there's a clue there. London, there's an address. I mean, you don't need to know the address. I wonder what would happen if you wrote to it now. Which seems to suggest that there, there were going to be future singles, but they didn't. This was literally the only record they ever brought out. Um, the first time I heard this song was um, on the UK Top 40 count Countdown. I used to listen to the UK Top 40 Countdown. Dynamo Records, there is very little information. This is basically a mystery song. There's so little information about who 1300 drums are, apart from the conspiracy. I, is, is it a conspiracy? I don't know. The theory that it could be the KLF in disguise. I mean, I think that theory's got a lot of water to it. I think there is something there. So we're going to put the song on and have a listen now. It's your basic um, dance sort of beats with cut up samples in it. You'll get a go. I can't really say too much because it's not it's not like a song that it's not like Bohemian Rhapsody with different segments in it. It's just the same repeating bass set of samples in it over and over again. And there's a basic there's quite a catchy keyboard riff in it. It also has that what I very 90s keyboard loop in it where it's like a keyboard riff and a loop and it's got that homemade sound to it like as if someone has made this in their bedroom which is quintessentially 90s and again that's gone now we don't have that anymore which again which is why I feel this love for the era so let's start playing the song a few basic samples there you've got your drum loop and a snare and there's the sample As far as I know, that's a real sample of crowds at a football match going to our cantona. And then now we, and now you get the keyboard loop. It's 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 very basic stuff. It's a very basic progression of a dance record. Have the same like tropes to them all, and this is no exception. We have a sample of football commentary coming up again now. I don't know if that's a real football sample or commentary or what. Now, this particular bit now, I think that sampled off another song, but I don't know what, because I've heard that that bit you just heard there, the ooh ah, that was also in the Mary Whitehouse Experience theme tune, that, that sample of ooh ah, which was a few years before, which is like six years earlier, so I'm pretty sure it's sampled off something older, and it's just again repeating it. That's the thing about reviewing dance records, it's just the same bass samples being used and looped over in different ways. There'll be a certain someone watching this video right now who will make a, who, who will make the facetious comment about you know you keep saying the word loop a lot. Is there a lot of loops in it, Roger? He knows who he is. You've basically heard the whole song now. There's no surprises coming. You've just heard them all. That's called a. Um... You got that build up. That's in like every dance record from the 90s. It has that build up to build up to something. This is definitely in something. This is definitely sampled off another record. That is. Because it was in the Mary Whitehouse Experience theme tune from, from from like four, five, six years previous to this. So I'm pretty sure it's, there, it's therefore sampled off something even older. But I might be wrong. I don't know. Who sampled.com doesn't provide any clues to it. 
we've just dropped the seed in. It's a pretty cheesy record, basically. It's a cheesy record, but um, I, I, it holds a lot of memories for me personally. I have a personal memory of this one. Another thing to mention that I didn't earlier is them. What I like about collecting these old CD singles from the past is I love the authentic stickers on them. Now, when you buy them in a charity shop like this or, a, or cash converters where they've got the modern, you know, whatever it is, 10p, 50p sticker stuck on them, I love it when you find them with the original um, stickers on them. So, you know, the original HMV or Virgin, 399, 199, 299 stickers on them. In this instance, there is an original sticker on it. Uh, the original price, whoever put it, it says 199 and then they've stuck a 99p sticker over it, although it's generic, so it doesn't say virgin, so it suge this suggests to me, the backstory from looking at this, is that this came from a, you know, an independent record shop, I don't know for an, for an absolute fact, I'm just guessing from looking at that picture, or... I mean, it looks authentic to me, it looks like that's originally from the era, this is, whenever the um, shops when stuff had fallen out the charts, they used to like put them on a shelf separate and like have a got bargain bin. I could talk about the whole video talking about bargain bins and they reduce them in price and it kind of looks like that to me, but, for, but from an independent record shop. So that was 1300 drums anyway, and Ooh Cantona featuring the unjustified ancients of MU. Nintendo seal of approval. Nintendo seal of approval. Nintendo seal of approval. Nintendo seal of approval. I just got my choker. <laughs> Please uh, hit subscribe for more videos, they're coming soon.